And welcome back to Take Action News with David Schuster. This is executive producer Daniel Marins once again continuing in the host chair. We saw the passing this past week of one of the Senate's great liberal lions, Senator Frank Lautenberg. He was the oldest member of the Senate at the time at age 89, the senior senator from the state of New Jersey. And he, of course, had a storied history as an advocate in particular for infrastructure and many other liberal priorities. Before we got into a little bit more about his legacy and the eulogy that was delivered for him at the Park Avenue Synagogue in Manhattan by Vice President Joe Biden, I want to just tie a little bit of a ribbon at the end of on our segment just now on Walmart and taking action there. Just a few more details there, of course. Kalpona Akhtar, the executive director of the Bangladesh Center for Worker Solidarity, has now been threatened with charges from many Bangladeshi factories. Her and many other worker advocates and union organizers there have been subject to arrest and indeed to murder and torture in some cases by, by government, by companies and their thugs going after them for what they see as undue meddling. And so these people come at great risk. And it was by some miracle that, and in fact not a miracle at all, but the hard work and organizing of United States labor unions that she, as a result, as a, as a shareholder herself or a proxy shareholder, was able to address this crowd of 14,000 University of Arkansas in Fayetteville, Arkansas, where the, the annual Walmart shareholders meeting was taking place. It was an event that was emceed by Hugh Jackman and even sang a number from, from Les Mis, the movie, Who Am I? kind of ironic when you think about the fact that Les Mis is a movie about the plight of the miserable. And Walmart makes people miserable. It makes people miserable because it doesn't pay them a living wage, it doesn't hire them full time, it doesn't necessarily give them health care. makes them miserable because they're one of the largest purchasers of clothing made in Bangladesh and in other third world countries where there are routinely sweatshop type standards, the kinds of things that lead to the Bangladesh factory collapse like the one we saw at Rana Plaza. And we do now know and have confirmed from some of the work like people like Kalpona Actor at the Bangladesh Center for Worker Solidarity, that fame jeans, which are jeans that are made, made for Walmart, were found in the rubble at the Rana Plaza factory collapse. So it was directly supplying to Walmart, despite any denials to the contrary. Walmart has not only not agreed to sign the legally binding agreement and accord, they've organized other companies onto their voluntary agreement through the Bipartisan Policy Center, an organization that's funded by billionaires and has advocated in the past for cutting Social Security and Medicare, and they're doing it with the help of Senator George Mitchell, a Democrat from Maine, and former Senator Olympia Snow, a Republican from Maine, who are known for achieving compromises. Well, if you think that this is something that can be compromised on, if you think that the safety of workers who we now know have repeatedly been killed by egregious factory conditions in factories that supply for United States retailers like Walmart, well, if you think that that is a good place where two sides can meet in the middle, then maybe you should support that initiative. But for those of us who think that Walmart has blood on its hands for the purchasing power that it has and the fact that it's able to drive these supply chains, it's able to create these patterns of demand from these suppliers and put these, these pressure for the turnaround on them, then you think that we deserve better and that legally blinding agreements are what matters. And in fact, that's why they took the floor in Arkansas. And they said, in fact, they pointed out some of the, 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 the insane pay agreements that Walmart's chief executives get. Kalpona Akhtar said, I would like to direct this to the chairman of the board, Mr. Rob Walton. And the Walton family, again, is worth $93 billion collectively and be is believed to own, in some cases, in some total, a wealth equivalent to 30% of the wealth in the entire United States. She said, I would like to direct this to the chairman of the board, Mr. Rob Walton. I'm sure you're aware that fixing these buildings would cost just a tiny fraction of your family's wealth, so I implore you to please help us. You have the power to do this very easily. Don't you agree that the factories where Walmart's products are made should be safe for the workers? Walmart is one of only a few major importers refusing to sign the Accord on Fire and Building Safety that many European companies in particular have agreed to sign. Instead, Walmart's public relations officials have announced plans for an alternative to this landmark agreement, but so far not a single meaningful detail has been provided. Forgive me, but for years, every time there's a tragedy, Walmart officials have made promises to improve the terrible conditions in my country's garment factories, yet the tragedies continue. With all due respect, the time for empty promises is over. Walmart's board rejected this proposal for them to sign the, the legal accord agreement. And again, this was part of the formal part of the shareholders ceremony in which shareholders and groups of shareholders can propose alternatives or, or, or resolutions for management to take up. In many cases, they're non-binding. But 
Walmart still would not take this one up and said it would not be in the best interest of our company or its shareholders. And the company added that ho- holding a meeting at the behest of 10% of the shareholders, apparently, which o- Octor was there speaking on behalf of this 10% group, this minority group that was there, would, quote, be a costly undertaking. And in fact, all the resolution that were adopted were uh, resolutions that were supported by Walmart's top management, so much for shareholders and the investment structure being a democratic one that can allow people greater control over the decisions that their company makes.